Hey guys, I want to do a video on troubleshooting some issues that you might have with your subwoofers. And this one's pretty pretty specific. And it's the fact that your mains might be causing your bass issues. And I recently, you know, I was going through working out some stuff with uh, with SVS and I was talking with Ed Mullen. And if you're not familiar with him, he's, I mean, Man, that guy knows his stuff better than anyone I'm aware of. Uh, I mean, just, I mean, amazing. Anyway, we were talking about some of the LFE plus main issues and different settings on your amplifier. And one of the issues that came up to me was the fact that, you know, where you set your crossover at determines a filtering effect on each speaker. What I mean by that is you know, uh, on your subwoofers, it's a, you know, 24 dB filter, whereas on your towers and your centers and all that stuff, it's only a 12 dB filter. Well, what does that mean? That means that it cuts some of the signal out, but it doesn't eliminate it completely. It blends. And so even if you've got a, you know, your speakers crossed over at 80 or 90 hertz, that doesn't mean that you're not still going to get signal from those speakers under those levels. Now, how did I find this out? Well, I, I found that I found out the numbers from Ed when he sent me an email and was explaining everything to me, which is great and it really kind of clarified it for me. But how I found it out in real world was I was going through and listening when I had the other bookshelves in, and what I discovered was that certain peaks that I thought had to do with the subwoofers were actually coming from the bookshelf speakers I had in here before. Now, to really clarify, these have given me no such problems. The other speakers had a passive radiator design, which I'm starting to dislike more and more as I go. And one of the reasons was I had such a bad reverberation at uh, from 70 to 80 and then again around 40 hertz, somewhere in there. Now, I wouldn't have thought that my bookshelf speakers would be causing a problem at you know 45 hertz, but it did, and it was pretty substantial. I I was kind of I don't know, taken aback by it, and so anyway, you know when you're when you're troubleshooting some subwoofers, you know and you're trying to figure out what's wrong. One thing you can do is you can turn off your subs. Don't change anything else. Just turn off the subwoofers from the back, like turn them off from there and there. Don't don't turn them off the AVR. Just turn them off at the actual subwoofer. Okay. Then run through a test tone. And I've put some frequency sweeps up here so you can see and you can go through and, and listen to what your speakers are doing. You, you'll hear two things. Number one, you will hear that your speakers do go below that 80 hertz or whatever that crossover is. Your, your speakers are still getting that signal. So when you think about, oh, I don't want to cross over my, my big towers at 80 hertz because I'm going to be losing all of that. No, you still get it. It's just not as powerful. I have these speakers set at small, and I have them crossed over at 80, which sounds wonderful. They could probably be crossed over at 60 or 70, you know, and sound great. They're rated to go down to 32. So, you know, they're good quality speakers, and they do a good job. But crossing them over at 80, what it does is it allows my subs to get more of that signal, you know, more of the signal they're happy with, and then it reduces the stress on the amplifier and the towers by, you know, all that power that it takes to, to reproduce bass gets redirected toward the mid-range and the highs. So it makes your amplifier more efficient and it lets your subs do the, the, the heavy lifting. But when you turn off those subs, at the, at the subwoofers, so you know you, they're not getting signal anymore. You can just hear what your towers and, and your mains are doing. And when you do that, you can find out if you're having any issues with your mains in terms of bass. I was really surprised to find out I had that problem with those other speakers. And it was kind of an eye-opener for me. And so you might try that. If you're having particular, you know, bad reverberations in your in your room, uh, check that out. It may not be the subs. And I have to wonder how many reviews have been done in the past on subwoofers that were lackluster that were because of the mains instead of the subwoofers themselves. 
So it's an interesting thing to think about. But uh, anyway, check that out. You know, check into it. See what your speakers sound like. I was, again, I was pretty, uh, pretty shocked when I when I came across that issue. So, again, when you set your crossover, you're not limiting your main drivers that much. You're just think of it as what you're actually giving your subwoofer. So, and here comes Bear. He wanted to be in the shoot. So, <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully that helps. And uh, please subscribe.